Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome into the channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline. I am sitting in the passenger seat. Roger is just about to load the back of the car with his packages. We're heading to the post office. All right, we need to go over a few things in this video right out of the gate. I think Roger's coming now. Um, number one, I always wear my seatbelt 100% of the time. I have never gotten in a car without a seatbelt. I don't know why you guys thought I didn't have a seatbelt on. You all have comments like, hey, you don't have a seatbelt on. I was just yelling at everybody Sorry. for leaving a comment that <laughs> I didn't know why I seatbelt on. I love you guys, but the stuff you come up with, I'm like, how do they think that? Number two, antique boots everybody buys and sells from each other and we are all reselling it that is the nature of the business so for those of you who left a comment like hey people are going to be really upset at you that you buy from their booth and then you resell it guys they all know i'm a reseller i got a youtube channel they know that's what i do it's not a surprise and they all did that when i came into the booth when we came in and got a booth they all told us hey we all buy and sell from each other so that is okay what else do we need to clear up all the comments can you think of anything of people leaving comments roger reads a lot of the comments he doesn't have time to be answering anybody but what else oh can you guys shop at the booth Yes, you can, but you have to go to the booth. The whole reason that we have a booth is because we don't want to ship the things on eBay. So if you see something in a video and I'm telling you I'm putting it in the booth, no, I'm not going to go to the booth and take it back out of the booth and listen on eBay for you. The booth is in Hummelstown, PA, Old Factory Antiques. Almost always I leave where we're shopping in the video's notes. So all the videos have a note section. It's usually either an arrow, a gray arrow on your phone, or if you're watching on like a laptop or your television, it should be see more. And you could just click that and you get all the information. You get my Amazon affiliate links, where I buy things, where I bought my mannequin, what face cream I use, all the stuff, all the time. All right, so we are going to the post office today. Sorry for the long intro, but you guys, some of your comments just like, how did they think that? How would you think, being such a type A personality, that I wouldn't always wear my seatbelt? Plus, if you're wondering if I'm wearing a seatbelt, the car would ding so loud if you don't have your seatbelt on. Doesn't your car do that? Mine does. All right, for those of you complimenting my hair, thank you so much. Lately, I'm just having a good hair day, and Lisa did, um, you know, do my hair for me, and as summer approaches and the sun hits my hair, it's just going to get blonder and blonder. It's not that I'm making it more blonde, it's that the sun just makes it more blonde. That's how I was born. Even when I color it, that's what it does. All right, we are at the post office. Roger is dropping off. How many packages do you drop? Uh, probably 50 or 60. 50 or 60, and he has another 15 at the house. We have had really good sales. Thank you to all of you buying from us. We so appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button we're going thrifting today now the first part of the video is going to be or the second part i'm not sure where it's going to be it's another goodwill that we stopped at the other day that seemed like the worst goodwill but we still found items to flip for a profit all right let's get on the road let's go see what we can find to flip for a profit love you guys i think this is hand drawn it's like a little hobbit home i really like this that is adorable Let's see what the back looks like. Ooh, a little bit older, which is surprising. I thought this was more contemporary. That looks really great. I think somebody painted that. Is that watercolor? All right, we're just gonna put it in the cart because we know that's good. That should sell. I picked up two other items. I'm just in the store, so I haven't even gone up and down the aisles, but the minute I see something, look at this cat, $3.99. It's a little ornament, blown glass. And it has on like a little ballet outfit, a little sparkly tutu, <laughs> blown glass, adorable, $3.99. And of course, Roger brought me a wooden box, carved wooden box. Some people say these are memorial boxes. I don't know that these are always used for that purpose. I mean, they could be, but they are usually carved in India, $2.99. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open this with one hand. I will try. There we go not velvet lined i almost prefer it when it's not velvet lined because then it doesn't have a lot of delinting that needs to happen but we're going to put that in the cart so that's how i'm starting out with three items 
this box is a little bit schmutzy, so I might have to just take that out of the box. And it's not especially old or high-end, but he is adorable. All right. Let's see. Let's start down the Chachka aisle. Let's see what there is, if there is anything spectacular. There's some napkin rings, three different types. I'm not quite sure what this is. I'm gonna say it is a bathroom hand towel holder. Hmm. <laughs> there is a clock, rhythm, plastic. How did I wind up on this aisle? I don't think this is a fun aisle. 19034, is that a famous zip code for a show or something? Was there a show 19034? 19034? I don't even know what that means. It's probably really obvious. <laughs> you guys probably roll your eyes at me. When I say things, I have no idea what I'm talking about. But I do have some knowledge, so there's that. All right, let's go down the next aisle see what there is just want to say too I hope I didn't insult anybody with the opening of this video at some point I do have to just share with you how I feel about things I can't always you know be sunshine and light but um, I love you guys so I'm very appreciative for this channel and for all of you that support my channel and are wonderful to watch all my videos and give me good feedback and I always want to hear constructive criticism I just don't want any kind of falsehoods to be spread that's concerning to me like you know about the seatbelt thing I would never want somebody to think that I don't use a seatbelt and think it's okay not to use a seatbelt it's not we all need to wear seatbelts. All right, end of seatbelt commercial. A cast iron trivet, a rooster, $2.99. He's okay. I don't know that I'm in love with him. I'm gonna leave him on the shelf. Shelves have been cleared. I can tell that um, they have come through and pared down, which is good. That means they're making room for inventory. I think this is maybe a solar light. Hmm. He's plastic. Again, I'm not in love with him. I kind of wish he was a cement planter. That would be good, or, or a garden statue, I should say. All right, we're just going up and down the aisles. This is a pretty little thing. Unfortunately, the gold is worn off. It is paint, and it doesn't really seem to be super high quality, but caught my eye. I love gold. There's a clay, is that clay? Yeah, it is ceramic um, canister we have a little teapot here oh what is that saying on the bottom it looks like it's written handwritten okay Celebridge Ireland 1984 all right the first thing I do with teapots is to feel the spout because most times that's where the breakage is gonna be I don't do a lot of teapots, but I am gonna put this one in the cart to look it up since it does have a fairly clear marking. All right, we're gonna put that right up front. Okay, this is Avon, nope, Christmas Carol. I'm looking for who's making this, Charles Dickens. Novellino, Christmas, handmade in Indonesia, Susan Sapphire, 1993. I'm going to wait on that. Trying to see what else. I'm not even sure what these aisles represent anymore. I don't think they're organizing by any particular um, theme or material. These are cute. Oh, they have a yellow tag, which could mean that they went on clearance they're not like Pottery Barn or something like that. There's a candle holder. This seems to be older glass. Oh, that's very interesting. A red glass candle holder. I don't think that piece of rope is original to this. I'm going to try to Google image this because the glass seems to be red through and through. I don't think this is flash painted. So we're going to put that on the other side of our teapot. And I'm going to Google image that. 
Okay, I think this tree is a bookend. It is. And this is Duncan Ceramic Products, 1975. That's okay. I'd like to see like Winnie the Pooh on the tree or something like that. <laughs> it's another votive candle holder, heavy. While the store is a little bit on the quiet side, I'm gonna make my way down the lamps aisle. This is probably one of the hardest aisles to get down when the store is crowded. And I just absolutely love looking at lamps. I do buy lamps, not as frequently as I used to. They do take up a lot of room. Here's a Coca-Cola lamp, but the shade seems to be plastic. If that was glass and leaded glass, of course, I would have grabbed that. Coca-Cola is still always a wonderful thing to buy, especially when it's vintage. Oh, wait, what is this? Okay, that's more modern. You can tell by the color of the gold. It's not especially old brass. It's kind of like a, like a painted piece. I do like these little votive shades. I like them when they are clip-on for lamps. This one is for a votive. You can see it sits on top of the votive holder. But the beaded shades and the cloth shades, I do pick these up when they're a good price point. So probably no more than $1.99. Oh, here is that same design. What is going on with this, with this stacked bowl situation? Now this one is newer. Look at that plug. But if you watched my last video, I talked about that this is becoming all the thing. I am seeing this everywhere in furniture. Um, this, I call it stacked bowl. So I don't know if that is totally accurate. If you Google stacked bowl chair, it will come up, but I don't know if that's the original term. So you can tell this is a glass lamp and it is not especially old. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it, but that is very interesting that, you know how once you see something, then you start seeing it everywhere, I feel like that's the case with that you know when you get a car and um all of a sudden you see everybody else has the same car it's kind of like that a stacked ball lamp i hope that's not a mistake i know the chair was i should have grabbed that chair i would have found a place to put it i am happy that that lady really loved it store is nice and quiet not too many customers yet roger and i got here about 9 30 10 o'clock something like that and um, yeah, usually on Monday, usually the place is packed, but it's fairly nice outside, so maybe people are outside. Doing a quick overview of the cups and mugs aisle. I see a cat mug down here, $1.99. Okay, so this is just Metropolitan Museum of Art with a black cat, kind of nice, $1.99. I did say I'd be picking up single mugs for you guys. And for $1.99, I think I will grab this. Now, it would be great if I found other ones. I don't see them, but I'm going to hold on to this and hopefully find two, if not three or four of them. Oh, I thought I might have seen one. Nope. I thought it was the same pattern. But we're going to go ahead and put this in the cart. Little cat mug. I also see this mug. Now, I don't know that this is anything but I kind of like this colorway. It seems to be just a, not a cheaper ceramic, but it's not real heavy in the hand. Yeah, made in China, no markings. Somebody put felt on the bottom. I wonder if this has a tendency to scratch. Sometimes the cheaper cups, yeah, this feels rough. That's very interesting. They didn't even glaze the bottom of the cup. So somebody put felt pads on the bottom. That is, very unique to not be glazed on the bottom. All right, is it, oh, it's not even glazed inside. What? If you put coffee in there, that would absorb your coffee and just, you'd never get that clean. So I'm gonna leave that one behind. Sadly, when I gave this a second glance, I noticed there is a scratch. I thought it was just sticker residue from a price tag. So I'm gonna have to put him back. That's a shame, darn. All right, we'll put that on, back on the shelf. I see a Care Bears. Okay, I think this is an original one. I wish you a day full of rainbows. 
Muggimals, by applause. 19, does that say 86? It's gotta be 86, right? Or is that 66? And I have glasses on. Yeah, I think that's 86. Made in Japan. Huh, that is an old one. We're gonna look this one up. I'm just still perusing the art aisle. It's very hard to look at art when it's this stacked. So many frames are heavy. So many mirrors are heavy too. Oh, a vintage pink wood toilet seat. <laughs> New in package, $7. Wood toilet seat with the redded hinges, $6.99. I can't imagine that would bring very good money, but vintage toilet seats are a thing because if you have a vintage toilet, you might want the vintage seat. I will run comps and show you guys what this type of item would bring, but for now, I think I'm gonna wait on that. So I looked up this teapot. I guess this is a hobbyist piece because there is no Selbridge Company, Ireland 1984. It does have some crazing, but if it was good, you know, if it was a good brand, I would have taken it. I think it's kind of sweet, very cottage core. <laughs> is cottage core still a thing? I think it's on its way out. All right, and I also, looked this candle holder up i do love it does have a little bit of damage so i think i'm gonna have to say no to it unfortunately i think it is true ruby glass it is red through and through it is not flash painted or over painted yeah but i think that that chipping on the edge is not good which is very disappointing but this piece to make it unscathed all these years and then all of a sudden, it gets some damage. Very pretty though, I really like this, but again, another one not being bought. While I'm standing here running comps and doing my research in this store, I figured I would put the Care Bears coffee mug into a search, 1986. And when I sort by solds, one sold for 99 cents, a little bit different, but it does give you the, you know, the kind of the feel for what this would bring. $24.99, but that's four Care Bear mugs in a holder, which is kind of surprising to me because coffee mugs break quite easily. So I thought maybe this would be good. But as you can see, even vintage mugs of this type, whether it's Disney, Garfield, you know, popular cartoon characters, a lot of them are only bringing 5 to $10. So... Yeah, not worth it, but he was very sweet while he lasted. All right, did we already go down the basket aisle? I'm not quite sure. This is cool. I don't know what we would use that for, but that's kind of neat. How much they want for that? They want $2.99. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put that in the cart. I'm in a basket mood. This basket is cool. <laughs> now we're just gonna pick up all the baskets. Oh, I don't like the way that one's finished. Cut ends. I mean, it's kind of nice, finely made. I would have liked it better without the handle. Sometimes I think a basket is good without the handle. I think people like baskets more without the handle generally. Oh. Except for this one. What? This is a split oak. This is antique. $2.99. Different colors. Let's take a look at how this is put together. Look at the old nail. I think this is an egg gathering basket and it has a split oak handle and a spine, split oak, oh, double spine. Look at that. Oh my goodness, this is the find of the day, $3. Baskets are great, they really are. Tip for the day, learn baskets. Baskets are a lot easier to learn than glass, I have to say. I was kind of hoping this one was signed, but this might have been made for, for everyday use, for real work day, not for a showpiece. But this is a showpiece. Look at the construction and the evenness of the reeds. Okay, this person knew what they were doing. Gorgeous. Okay, so split oak egg gathering basket. That's what I'm going to call this. I don't know what I'm thinking on this. Maybe 150 so three dollars into 150 i will try to do some research and include screenshots here for what this should bring on the shelf in my cart right away so as you know the belts always catch my attention i can't leave a thrift store without looking at the belts 
And although I didn't find a good belt, I did find a belt buckle. And I'm looking to see if any of those rhinestones are missing. I don't think they are. That is very cool. Almost has a Brighton-esque look to it. Brighton is a company that does handbags and belts and accessories. $4.99. Hmm, do I want that? I think I do. I think that's very cool. Now, not every person wants to wear a turtle rhinestone encrusted belt buckle, but I really like that. That's going in the cart. All right, so this is what we're looking like. Not a lot today. I think I showed this to you. You're the friend everyone wishes they had. I think I'm just gonna pull the mice out and put them on my desk for a while because I love these. I love stuff like this. Little felt creatures. And I'm thinking, let me move my water. I'm thinking of getting this mug, $2.99, because I had to put the other mug back, the strong one. So this is a Ray Dunn Disney uh, collaboration. And I think it's kind of cool. Now this won't bring a lot of money, but for $3, this will be my one mug that I pick up. Oh, this is Susan somebody, wing it, wing net. <laughs> I don't know her last name, W-I-N-G. ET, something like that. These are nice. You know me, I don't like canisters. They just always wind up getting broken and it takes so much of a bigger box to ship them. Would I pick these up for the booth? Mm, they have a little bit of chipping that I can see without my glasses. So if I put my glasses on, it's probably worse. They need a good cleaning too. Okay, so four, how much is this one? Four is eight, are they all four? Yes, yeah, so four times four, $16. Not a horrible price, that's like a piece of tape or something. Oh, the little chips though, I don't know. I can't imagine that these would bring more than 60 on eBay, so in the booth, yeah, I'm gonna think maybe $40, 45, so. I don't know. It doesn't feel like a good rate of return for how much work is involved. They need a good scrubbing. Oh, I could turn it over and show you the name. Yeah, Susan, wing it. Okay. Hmm. They do have a really nice aesthetic. I like that aesthetic. I think if they weren't chipped, I would get them and put the work into it, but because of the little flea bite chips, I think people are gonna mind that. So I'm gonna leave those behind. What else do we see? What else do we see? There's the title for my video. Okay, that's a faux wood bowl. So we're gonna put that up here. And what is this? Well, just a planter, modern, because you see the skew tag. Yeah, that's a big nothing. All right, we're kind of holding in place. I didn't find anything else yet, but not losing hope. I'm sure there's going to be more good stuff coming out. I don't have the energy to go through all of this mishmash. They have more bags and handbags and tote bags in this store than I've ever seen in any store, but their price points are too high. So there's that. All right, I might go down to the big mishmash aisle. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, it's come to looking at the dishes aisle. <laughs> Sometimes that's what it comes to. You never know what's gonna be misplaced or what kind of little sets you're gonna find. Okay, that looks like something from Home Goods. Montegro, okay. Montegro. What else do we see here? I think this is Mikasa here. Mikasa bowl. Mm. This Sony, which is Target. It's got some schmutz inside. Their 20th anniversary collection. Okay, so what year was Target 20 years old? No clue. Some colored plasticware for parties. I want to have a party. I want it to be summer. Have lots of people over with a fire pit. Ooh, this almost looked like Japanese pottery, but it is plastic. Totally fooled me. Oh, we got some colored tumblers. Are they glass or plastic? Oh, I think they're glass. 
Oh, those are very pretty. They have them taped to a glass dinner plate, all for four dollars. Like a little juice glass, I think. These are vintage, maybe. It looks like two raindrops. Paisley teardrops. I don't know who makes that. Okay, so there's a purple, a red, a yellow, an orange, and like a teal or a turquoise. All for four dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. I think those are really pretty. Yeah, I think that's a good find. I'm gonna grab those. I guess I have to grab the plate with it. <laughs> These are plastic, right? Yep, plastic wear. Hmm, lots of decorative plates. I don't see anybody hanging these on their wall anymore, but if that ever comes back in style, well, I don't have anything to say about that. Oh, what is this tortoiseshell box? Lacquered. Otogiri, Japan. Oh, it's a music box. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that. That's kind of ho-hum. It's nice, it's not all that great. Nippon, hand painted in Nippon. So certain years, Japan had to be marked Nippon. Yada yada, you have to look it up. I don't keep all of that in my brain. I got excited for half a second. <laughs> Fish dishes. This is Lennox Ridgewood, I think. Riverwood. Riverwood bass. And I think four or five of these can do close to $100. Unfortunately, the first Womp Womp is that it has a chip. And I was like, all right, maybe out of the five, maybe I can salvage four of them. But then instead of it being the fish pattern, it turned to the bird's pattern, which that's not what I want. I want the fish. Another bird, which is what, a ringneck pheasant? Yeah, and some of them have chips and cracks. And they're charging $10 for this. Here's a fish one, a second fish. I wanted it to be four or six fish dishes because this is a good find. Okay, so this one, again, a chip on the back. And Goodwill has to tape them together. And then we have a plain kind of bowl. So not worth the $10, but it was pretty exciting there for like 10 seconds. <laughs> I really like fish dishes. I know some antique fish dishes that are hand-painted can bring really good money. I've never found the really old ones. I have sold fish dishes before, I know, shocker. All right, I'm gonna work on re-taping these in case somebody else wants to take them. I don't know if anybody's gonna want them with the cracks and chips, but you never know. So for us, it's no good, but maybe for somebody else, they'll still use them. This is a mark that I always get excited for. It's Mark 1983, David Eldreth. This is Eldreth Pottery, and I love the redware or the terracotta. This one is just, can I, can I be any happier? Just so cute. There is a pig crock. Who doesn't need a pig crock in their life? $2.99. So it looks like somebody used it as a planter, which is very fun. I don't know what else you'd use it for because I don't think there's any top to it. But if you don't know about Eldrith Pottery, you want to look that up. It is local to um, Pennsylvania. This is where the Potter's House was in Nottingham. And like I said, I have found some beautiful pieces. I'll insert a few photos of the redware plates that are just gorgeous and can do really well on eBay, but a pig crock is always a yes. Do we love a good pig? Yes, we do. All right, guys, I think that's it for this store. Like I said, I'm going to include footage of the other store we went to that even had less, but I found something really good. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'm taking you with me. Okay, here is a moment I definitely wanted to catch on film and share with you guys. Roger is drinking a caramel crunch coffee from Starbucks. And the thing that makes this so amazing is this is his very first coffee in life. Yeah. He has never had a coffee before. Never took a sip. Not one sip. Nope. Look this at that. First ever. I'm corrupting you. Me into it. <laughs> this is my coffee. <laughs> I am drinking a brown sugar espresso, oat milk. And what are you drinking? Caramel Crunch? I have no idea. <laughs> Your destination is on the right. That's okay. good. So you've never had brewed coffee at home? No. No, I never had a sip of coffee. 
In your whole life? My whole life. 61 years old. Yep. The first coffee. Yeah, first so ever. So give us your thoughts on coffee. What do you, well, most of that is I mean, sugar. This is good because it's, I guess, yeah, it's good. Do you feel shaky? No. No. So why did you never drink coffee before? Just, why didn't you join the rest of us? Just never. I don't know. Never did. Okay. So did I corrupt you? No. <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button for Roger having his very first coffee in life. All right, so we are at a Goodwill that I don't think I've ever been to. Do we believe that? Probably not. This is the Goodwill in Palmyra. Is that how to eat? Palmyra. Yep. Palmyra. Palmyra. Okay, I don't even know where Palmyra is. But it looks like a pretty good sized store. Nice jersey there. Nice jersey there, Bryant number eight. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Oh, yeah. pretty good. I knew the name. <laughs> that, that's expensive. Oh, the tag is right there in the window. What does it say? I bet it's like seventy-nine dollars. A hundred. Yeah. Is it real? Yeah. All right, guys. Let's go inside Goodwill of Palmyra. Can't even say that name. Pennsylvania and see what we can find to flip for a profit. We are on the baskets aisle. $4.99. That's not horrible. That's a cute little waste basket. I like that. This would be good for the booth. I think this would probably go for about 12 to 15 So not a terribly high profit. Also a nice idea to put a potted plant in. So I'm going to stick that in the cart. Prices do seem a little bit higher at this Goodwill. You would think Goodwill would have set prices across the board. Oh, $7 because it's a little tiny longer burger. They're crazy. <laughs> All right, let's look at some glassware. Not that we really want to. This green vase is interesting. What do they want for $3? Hmm, I have never seen this before. I don't think this would glow if you used a little black light on it. That is kind of nice. I think it's probably like um, common, common glass. I just made that up, but I think that would be common. I don't think it's going to be very rare or valuable. Here is stemware. The swirl glasses are pretty. They only have three of them. Some red and blue glass, good for 4th of July. Speaking of 4th of July, look at the Noma flag that lights up. $10, hmm, that would be really good for Memorial Day or, I'm gonna put that in the cart actually and see what this resells for. This is vintage, so we're gonna take a look at that. $9.99 is a little bit high and it looks like they had red tag underneath it. So does that mean that it's been here for a while? I'm not sure. They put it back out. All right, we are looking at both sides of the aisle at once. We have a popcorn maker, West Bend. Stir crazy, six quart stirring popcorn machine. Hmm, I almost want that. Roger and I make popcorn in just a regular big pot. We're so old school. It comes out really good though. You just have to remember to shake it a lot. So if we're both talking, it usually burns. <laughs> okay, scan pan. I don't know what that is. Lots of pots and pans. You know me, I'm always looking for all clad. Le Creuset, of course. I think all clad is my favorite. Some of my pans are all clad and they just cook so nicely. Okay, so here are pans that look like Le Creuset, but they're not, they're Crofton. So not the same quality as Le Creuset. And we can see that this one is $50. That's not Le Creuset, is it? No, oh, and that's got big problems. It's got some damage to it. Very heavy crofting again. So here is an interesting find I just pulled off of the shelf. Scooby-Doo rubber car mats. These look to be vintage. Look at that dirt. I have sold a uh, Tinkerbell. I'm trying to think of who else I've sold. Somebody else a while back. And I believe they brought over $100 on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, oh, it was a ladybug. 
that I was convinced somebody with a Volkswagen was going to buy. And sure enough, they did. I'm putting these in the car at $9.99. This is a good find. So I'm going to have to put a good amount of scrubbing into these mats. I think they're just especially dirty. I don't see any cracks in the rubber. I will go through them again before I pay for them. But I have two front mats and two rear mats. And I wanted to do my due diligence and check on comps because I haven't sold Scooby-Doo car mats you know, recently or in the past or ever. So here, the first one comes up $65. Now this is just for one front and two rear, and I've got two front and two rear for $9.99. So that is a good thing. 65 again for three. Here's four, $82.50. So that is a great find. I will have to scrub, but I have a scrub brush on a long handle. It's not like I really have to get down on my hands and knees and scrub them, so that's good. All right, that's a really good find. Wait till Roger sees them. We are truly out in the country. <laughs> Look at this tall painted carousel for, I guess, a big kitchen table or a dining room table. It is nicely made. Somebody could upcycle this and really do something wonderful with this. If you're a large family that uses a lot of condiments and you have a napkin holder and, you know, all the things on a table, I think this is really cool. So Goodwill wants $9.99 for it. Not a horrible price. Very well made, all bearing. It's not for me today, but I thought I'd show it to you. It does need quite a bit of de-waxing. That's all candle wax on there. But once you do that, once you scrape off the wax, I think this would be in good shape. Like I said, I would paint it if I was gonna use it, but not really my style. I guess this is the mixed aisle. Few wood pieces, more of like a really 1970s colonial country, not anything that's you know, super cool or mid-century modern, all this stuff I look for. I haven't seen anything yet on this aisle. Some brass candle holders. Again, very early American. Not that there's anything wrong with it, I just don't think there's enough people decorating in that style to warrant picking it up, but you never know. Okay, lots of iron. Here are some just cast plastic or resin. Feels like it's a heavy resin. An angel with wings covering. This is a sconce. I think if this was gold, maybe, but probably not. This is more of a Victorian style. The sconces I look for are more ornate over the top Hollywood Regency Art Deco. Art Deco is a very big trending decor theme this year. So if you look at decor magazines for the year or for the next coming years, you'll get ideas of what type of things to pick up in the thrift stores that people are gonna be looking for. And um, I do the same thing with fashion magazines. I try to keep an eye on what is coming into fashion. Not that I dress fashionable, I dress comfortable. But that way you might have a clue of what type of items people are gonna be searching for. All right, did we go down this aisle already? This is like that weird aisle that always has like paper goods and stationery and cosmetics. <laughs> All the things. I've lost Roger totally. I think he's over in clothing, so I'm gonna go hunt for him because I think I'm just about done with this store. I'm done with this store. I did find a few things. I'm gonna see if Roger, what he thinks about the Nova American flag light up sign. He might think that's good. I think $10 is high, but I can run comps on it. Okay, so I wind up with the American flag and the Scooby-Doo car mats. Roger got a few pieces of clothing and we are plugging in the American flag to make sure it works, which is always a must because Goodwill doesn't take returns. It does work. Does it blink or you're just wiggling it? Oh, it is blinking, right? Does it blink or it's just... Okay, but if one or more bulbs go out, the others remain lighted. You want to put it in underneath, honey, the second one? Maybe that's... <laughs> I think it was the outlet. Oh, that's pretty. Let me see the front. Yeah, we're going to take that. Even if we put it in our own window. I like that. One of these candles smells really good. I don't... It's not that one. Ugh. <laughs> wow. Shouldn't have put that so close to my nose. I don't know what scent that is. It's like... Ugh. Now I'm going to stand here smelling all the candles. All right, I don't know which one it is. 
We have a Pier 1 Imports pig paper towel holder. $10. $10. Now, it's not real peeling paint iron. This is more like a, yeah, it's plastic, but it's meant to look like it. it's super cute, but not for $10. I wouldn't pay more than three for that at a yard sale on a good day. <laughs> All right, so we are finishing up the last aisle. This is a smaller Goodwill, not as big as the Goodwills I'm used to. I'm getting all hoity-toity. This is pretty. This is a peacock, just a simple jeweled trinket box. Metal inside. Okay, I expected cardboard. And what do they want for it? $2.99. Needs a little de schmutzing there. That is kind of pretty. $3. What could I possibly get for that? Probably not more than 8 so I'm going to leave it behind. Seeing a little divided dish here. Is that Princess House? I'm serious. I'm going to have to get serious with learning Princess House, so I know what I'm talking about. Now I just guess everything is Princess House. All right, I think that finishes up this Goodwill. We're going to go look for Roger and go on to the next store or go home and get ready for going out to a dinner party we've been invited to. Hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, go out and get what's yours.